everyone. Welcome to our Piano and Series by Avia Learn. Today, we are excited to introduce a new topic to the series, piano and cello. We'll be joined by a special guest, Dong Yu Tai, a fantastic cellist currently pursuing his demo degree at Rutgers University. Dong Yu, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. You can also call me Benjamin if you want. Okay, got it. All right, to start, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience playing the cello? Sure. So I've been playing the cello for almost 19 years now. And as you said, I'm currently um, doing my doctorate degree at Rutgers University in New Jersey, and where I play a lot of chamber music and orchestra music with my amazing colleagues and teachers. Wow, that's great to hear. Sounds exciting out there. Well, I love to play chamber music as well as my pianist, and I found out there's a lot of challenges when I play with string instruments. So let's talk about some unique qualities and challenges of playing the cello in a duet uh, with the piano. What do you think are some of the most important things to keep in mind for um, either pianist or cellist when we play in this ensemble? Sure. Um, to me, the cello has a rich and warm and very, very expressive tone that can add a lot of depth and emotion to a duet with a uh, with piano. However, sometimes I think it can be um, challenging for us to balance with the sound between the, the two instruments, especially when it comes to dynamics. You know, um, cello is a is a relative quiet instrument. It's on the lower lower pitch side, it's not like pianists. You know, you guys are, um, you know, both of them have like strings and, and and wood, but you guys are more like a percussionist when you are uh, producing the sound. But we're a string instrument, and then we are um, very low there, so it's sometimes very hard for us to um, to stand stand out our sound. That's a good point. Yeah, sorry, uh, pianists make your life yeah, harder. <laughs> um, so the next part I want to ask is, do you have any advice for pianists who may not be as familiar with playing with the cello? Well, um, it's important to be aware of each other's playing and adjust accordingly. So for example, sometimes I need to play um, with more intensity to match the volume of the piano. But I think it's very important that um, at the same time, pianist, you have to um, be careful um, about your volume too. But at the same time, you need to listen to um, to the cello lines. If you cannot hear that, if you cannot hear your cellist playing, that's probably because you're playing too loud. But also, I'm talking this to all the cellists listen to this. We cannot just make excuses that, oh, Pianists, they are just a loud instrument and they have to just always play softer when we are playing. Sometimes we need to adjust um, our playing too, maybe by different vibrato to add intensity to our sound or by playing maybe closer to the bridge to have a more focused sound that we can try to achieve the, the, the best balance between the two instruments. Yeah, I think that's very the good insight uh, of playing with the piano uh, as a cellist. And yeah, I also, I also want to share my own experience. So when I play with a cellist, um, most yeah, I got a lot of requests that, hey, can you play softer? And then I would need to think about how do I uh, play softer, but still remain, like, for example, if a character is still like, uh, should be like intense. Like, like it should be very um like mysterious sound or like should be like very focused sound, and I found out that for pianists the best way is just well we keep our wrist higher, but our fingers need to be very solid. So I'm kind of, kind of like coping you. So for pianist who is playing with a cellist, and if you have to play something like well you need to build up the still need to build up to the climax. Then instead of like just putting more and more weight on the keys, you should just be more focused, like more solid on your fingertips to create a more um, pointy sound. 
Yeah. So instead of just like increase the volume in general. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and experience with us today and all the specific techniques and approaches you use to blend in the duet. I think that's very helpful for cellists and, and for pianists as well. Like when we play with cello, we need to, what, what kind of things we need to consider. Um, it's been a pleasure having you on the video on this conversation. Thank you so much. Um, it's my pleasure to be here. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Okay, I will see you next time then. Well, thank you. Bye. Bye.